What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing, tour, tour, Taurus? What's going on? It's your girl, Miss Smooth, coming at you again with another general collective for the Taurus. Taurus, what's going on? I'm pulling out Jupiter and Pluto for your sign. And Jupiter is all about wisdom, abundance, luck. And Pluto is all about new beginnings, endings, and new beginnings. So, Taurus, I do see that you are the number two. I hope y'all can see that. Definitely letting me know partnerships, balance, which you can see Jupiter and Pluto. So there might be some balance between starting over. I'm sorry, between your abundance and wisdom or knowledge or understanding. I do see Jupiter as the number 18. So one plus eight is nine. So that's nine. Meaning you're on the brick of a new beginning. And then you have 222. Two, two, and I'm going to show you why. Taurus, you definitely have... Oh, <clears throat> let me do it this way. You definitely have 222. Two, two. So a lot of you can definitely be seeing 222. Two, two. And 222 two, two is all about, you know, uh, balance and transition. Um, waiting on results. Um, what else? What else? What else? Two, 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 spirit. Um, Taurus, two, two, two can be about partnerships, multitasking, trying to make a decision, or waiting on results, and as well as travel. Okay. So, for those of you who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If this resonates, please don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know. Let your girl know so she can tell you how back. Boo, handsome, sweetie pie, honey bunch, whatever you like to be called. And for those of you who are my subscribers, thank you so much for the views, the likes, the comments, the shares. Definitely at 600 subscribers in a matter of days. So a lot of things are going to be transitioning for you, Taurus, over the matter of days, weeks, and months, okay? Especially with 222 being here. So let's go ahead and get some clarity. I want to get an overall energy card using my Oracle deck for Taurus. <clears throat> Thank you so much for tuning in. Ancestors of my highest good and light, Holy Spirit, divine. Thank you so much for coming through through this reading for the Taurus Collective. I appreciate your downloads, your messages, your divine protection over my heart chakra, my throat chakra, head to toe, as above, so below, so mote it be. Let's go. Okay, Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. What is the overall energy that Taurus should be focusing on? Moving into the second half of January and the first part of February. Thank you, please, Spirit. <clears throat> what is the Oracle messages for Taurus the Collective? I appreciate you. Thanks, Spirit. Oh, this is so pretty. Didn't I say companionship? 222. Two, two. And there's the number 16, which equals to the number 7. 2023 is all about the number 7. It is the year, if you break down the number, it is the number 7. Okay, so we are in the year of 7. And y'all can Google that to find out more about it. Hold on, Taurus. <clears throat> so definitely check that out. I really wanted this to show. So maybe if we do it like that. Yeah, that's better. All right, so let's go ahead and get you some uh, Abundance Oracle readings because we do have partnerships out here. So you can definitely be in that um, energy where you're trying to get support or you're in the verge of trying to decipher who's on your team and who isn't. I'm not really sure, but we'll find out. All right, so let's get some uh, angel oracle reading cards to see what the angels have to say about your abundance and this death to rebirth, spiritual awakenings, higher elevation, especially with Pluto being the number 22. 22 is a master number. I'm definitely going to look that up because I can't remember exactly all but it's good to know. So definitely Google 22 for master number. 
um, <clears throat> Taurus, you guys are a earth sign, an earth element. You do well in earth. You do well outside. You do well around greenery. Um, and uh, anything to do with dirt, greenery. Um, a lot of you could be looking into, uh, you know, working on your diet. Um, so let's just see what they're saying about the angel abundance. Spirit, can we get an abundance card for Tauruses? Oh, that's two right there. Thank you. All right. So we have detox your friendship. Didn't I say some of you might be definitely. Can y'all see that? I'm sorry. It says detox your friendship. Okay. So spirit is definitely advising you to detox your friendships. Um, and I did say that earlier. Some of you definitely could be looking to restart over when it comes to uh, friendships. Hold on one second. <clears throat> that's better. I couldn't see anything. And I know that's kind of bright for y'all. So I'm going to turn it down. Oh, what did I do with the thing? I just had it. Oh, there it is. I'm like, I know I just had my switch. You know, I'm bougie. I got to use a remote to turn down the light. <laughs> All right. So it says your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your association and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. All right now, Taurus, Spirit is definitely letting you know you need to drop some people off at their final destination. Mm. <clears throat> One second, Taurus, because you know, I, I don't know if y'all know, for those of you new, but I, um, I write things down. Okay, and then the second one, Taurus, says... <clears throat> you need to can y'all see that ask your ask for your needs to be met exactly so sometimes it feels like you know you have certain people that you depend on but they're no good for you and spirit is definitely advising you to let those people be dropped off at their final destination and trust your angels for all your needs to be met okay and this is the rebirth that's why i feel like spirit is taking you to a higher level to really depend on divine for all of your resources, okay? <clears throat> all right, Soros, let's go ahead and get some tarot messages. And that's why companionship is out here because a lot of endings and new beginnings are happening this year. Definitely picking that up, okay? All right, so let's see what these tarot cards have to say for you, Taurus. Yes, let's see what's going on. Out with the old and with the new, I'm hearing. <laughs> Taurus is like, I'm all for it. All right, Taurus, let me go ahead and shuffle a few more times for you. Thank you. <clears throat> I wanted to pop out, but I'm not taking it. See, justice is at the bottom of the deck. It's letting you know you're getting justice when it comes to your companionships. You're making decisions. You're balancing things out. Um, detoxing your friendships and asking to be all your resources to be met. Exactly. Because these people that you're asking for help or these people that are trying to help you or thinking that they're helping you, they're really hurting you, okay? <clears throat> See, Ten of Cups, can't make this shit up. All right, Taurus, let me cut the deck two times. One, two, all right. And at the bottom of the deck, we definitely have judgment. So you had justice and judgment. And I told you, when the JJ sisters come out, shit is about to get 
crazy, okay? People are getting cut off. Decisions are being made. People's feelings are getting hurt. And it's all is what it is because you have a task. You have a life purpose. You have a goal. And you ain't got time to sit here and band-aid anybody's emotions when it comes to your destiny, okay? So let's see. Detox your friendship. Spirit, can you tell Taurus, you know, what's the advice? What's the current energy when it comes to their friendships, companionships, um, intimate relationships that Taurus is dealing with? Please and thank you. Can we clarify? Please and thank you. <clears throat> oh, Taurus, nobody don't want to talk. What's going on? Am I using the wrong sex for it? I don't know, but I did see all those cards. Thank you. Yeah, so Spirit is definitely telling you to ease on back. <laughs> Take a rest. Retreat from those that no longer serve you. I'm seeing with the Four of Swords. So, yeah, detox. You got the Four of Swords. That's how you detox. Separating yourself from people. Can we clarify the four swords, please, and thank you, Spirit, for Taurus? How should they be separating? What is their advice with their current energy? Some of you are already doing this. I'm hearing you didn't have a choice <laughs> because judgment and judgment, judgment and justice came out. So I feel like the universe made that decision for you. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So you took a break. Um, because people had you stressed the fuck out in your head. And I feel like there was de several different people who did that. Okay. So it caused you to go in retreat mode. Okay. <clears throat> then you have the Ace of Wands. So that's something new. Wounded Warrior. So you're healing. Um, you have something coming in. And you're moving on towards something. Um, I'm definitely seeing you inspired and taking action. And you have the Knight of Swords. So something definitely is coming in. Because you have three movement cards here. You have the Knight of Swords. You have the Eight of Wands. And you have the Six of Swords. Okay? Um, so what I'm definitely feeling is that... <clears throat> Taurus, somebody was stressing you out or you've been stressed out about something, okay? I'm not sure what, but I'm sure it's about your friendships or partnerships. And you've been stressed out when it comes to, like I said, your friendships and your partnerships with the Seven of Cups, right? Making commitment issues to people that, um, I'm sorry, yeah, that caused you to feel unfulfilled with the Four of Cups, okay? Yeah. So you've been stressed out about, you know, deciding. And that's a good thing because what you're, what you're, what the universe and your energy and your highest self is showing you is that these people are not good for you if they're stressing you out. And that's why in um, Detox from Your Friends, it says choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. And I don't feel like you was getting any of that. And that's why you were stressed out. It's like, I'm not going to just be healing you and you're not reciprocating that healing back to me, right? And so this caused you to be in a healing um, a healing energy with the Four of Swords and the Nine of Wands. You started manifesting and thinking about what type of friendships you really want in your life, okay? And so Spirit is saying, once you got that inspiration, right, with the Ace of Wands... Um, you started to move to mo to more um, uncharted waters. You started to move to karma waters, okay? And spirit is definitely saying um, there is definitely some bold movement with the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. So you took some action with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, okay? And then something's coming in. So let me clarify the Eight of Wands. I believe this is under Jupiter. 
I want to say that, and the reason why is because Jupiter um, is all about your abundance, your luck, your wisdom. And then if you see the bird at the top, there's a message coming in. So I definitely want to put this under Jupiter. Okay, so let's clarify the Eight of Wands spirit. For Taurus, what's coming? What is the focus? What is this message all about for Taurus? What type of message is this? What is the advice in this message? With the Eight of Wands, can we clarify? Thank you. Hold on, y'all. Because you know spirit like to flip stuff out at me. <laughs> So you're looking, so something's coming in to show you how to um, be stable, okay? How to be stable. Um, you're holding on to the little that you have left over and you're walking away, taking the rest of what you have, okay? You depleted all that you could and you're taking the rest of what you have and you're moving forward, okay? But I want to clarify the four of uh, pinnacles. Thank you, Spirit. Oh my God, this is a lot, Spirit. I'm not taking all that. <laughs> this is not. I said clarify. Thank you. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, you're waiting for results. Exactly. So you got something coming in that's causing you to wait on results. Um, maybe you're waiting on luck. Maybe you're waiting on the tables to turn in your favor. But I still need clarity when it comes to this Eight of Wands. Sorry. This is all over the place right here and knock down Pluto <laughs> all right Taurus so what is coming in spirit for Taurus with this eight of wands don't you dare try to do that to me okay I just want to know a clarifying card for the eight of wands for Taurus with the focus what should they be focusing on I see that they are focusing on <clears throat> their Stability, waiting for results to come in with the stability, but what is the Eight of Wands about? Please and thank you, Spirit. What is the Eight of Wands about for Taurus, the collective for 2023? Spirit, thank you. All right, so we definitely have the C, the Eight on Eight. So you have Triple Eight. So some type of news is coming in with the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Okay, the Eight of Swords is definitely about realizing you're not stuck. And I think that's what Jupiter or the divine, your ancestors is going to be letting you know that you are actually not stuck. Um, and let's see why. Can we clarify the Eight of Wands? Some of you could be seeing 888-88222. Can we clarify the Eight of Wands and... The Eight of Swords for Spirit, uh, for Collective Taurus, please, and thank you, Spirit. What is the um, Eight of Swords about, please? I'm working hard for this message. It's like hidden. <laughs> what is the Eight of Wands about, Spirit? What is the Eight of Wands about for Taurus? What is the Eight of Swords about for Taurus? Because the Eight of Swords is all about you know, uh, restrictions, feeling restricted with your money. Okay, maybe that's why nothing's coming out. So you're getting these messages that are letting you know that um, yeah, you got this message that's letting you know to save. Okay, save for what? We're going to find out more, but I'm, I'm guessing because I worked so hard, nothing else wanted to come out. Um, Spirit is definitely letting you know that this message is coming in. You're getting clarity. Thank you, Spirit. You're getting clarity with Jupiter in your, somewhere in your chart, letting you know that you are not stuck, that there is a way out of this mess. And um, you realize that and said, okay, let me go invest the little I have and wait on these results with the two of wands, okay? Or you might be traveling. I'm not really sure, but the way he looks is like he's waiting on results, okay? So Jupiter is letting you know that something definitely is coming in for you to take what you have and <clears throat> maintain the course, maintain the um, what you're going through, especially with the Knight of Wands being here as well. So, Taurus, let's see what's unexpected. Spirit, what's unexpected for Taurus? 
in regards to their abundance, what's unexpected, please and thank you, what's unexpected for Taurus, in regards to their abundance, please and thank you, thank you, so we have the Hierophant, the divine is coming through for you, that's why Jupiter, it's like you know this, you know this man, <laughs> it's like that, <laughs> it's like that. I don't know the whole song, but I'm hearing it. And I'm like, I heard that song before. So Spirit is definitely saying that I'm working undetected behind the scenes on your behalf. I'm going to make right what was wrong because we did see Jupiter and judgment. Okay? So you can definitely be receiving um, a bold, uh, undetected move with the Hierophant. But let's clarify. What is the Hierophant? Um unexpected with the Hierophant. Can we clarify the Hierophant for Taurus? Please and thank you. Can we clarify? Thank you, Spirit. So Spirit is saying that they're fighting on your behalf with the Five of Wands. Um, I feel like the Hierophant is coming in to um, diffuse the situation with the conflict. Okay? <clears throat> Let's keep going. Okay, Spirit, thank you. That came right out too. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups, and the Six of Cups is all about past energy. So Spirit is definitely coming in to um, rectify the situation between your past and the conflict and obstacles that you had to experience with these people that were no good for you. Let's clarify. Anything else you want Taurus to know about their um, unexpected? Please and thank you. Anything else you want Taurus to know? About their unexpected, please and thank you. I appreciate it. It knocked it down. I'm like, dang. Yep, the Queen of Swords cutting it out. Hold on, it was another card. Oh. Yep, cutting it out so you could work on your pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. So you see how you went from the Four of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles? Exactly. Okay? Spirit is saying that's the truth. I'm coming in, working behind the scenes, making wrong right for you. And um, you're definitely going to move forward with logic and clarity so that you can work on your pinnacles because you realize that you can depend on your ancestors, on spirit, on divine to come in and give you the gift of uh, success without depending on people who make promises they can't keep. And that's why I feel like you felt that way with your friendships. Okay? All right, um, Taurus, let's look at Pluto. So Pluto is all about death and rebirth, okay? Pluto is all about death and rebirth, um, going through a transition. So I feel like Spirit is definitely going to communicate something to you. And we had that in Jupiter, okay? Spirit, can you clarify Pluto with the number 22? Thank you. <clears throat> look, didn't I say something coming in? The Knight of Pentacles. So you go from the Four of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles, patiently waiting for this shit to take momentum, okay? And I feel like that's what's happening. You're having a rebirth in your finances when you drop these bad habits, <laughs> okay? All right, Spirit, can we clarify the Knight of Pentacles? What should uh, Taurus the Collective expect with their Pentacles, their abundance, their jobs, their income, their finances. Thank you, Spirit. So we definitely have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles. You have the Queen of Wands. You have Confidence. You have the Four of Wands. So you have new partnerships. And you have the Page of Pentacles. Exactly. So I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is going to give you an opportunity to work on something, right? That will definitely have you feeling confident with the Queen of Wands and stable to go towards something beautiful. I don't know what it is, so we're going to clarify the Eight of Cups. Okay, can we clarify the Eight of Cups, Spirit? What is this that the Taurus Collective would be walking to with the Eight of Cups? What is this that the uh, Collective Taurus will be walking towards with the Eight of Cups? Now that they found their confidence and stability, what will they be walking towards with the Eight of Cups? Please and thank you. And I told y'all, some of y'all are going to be seeing 888. That's definitely a sign from spirit. See? You're going to be walking towards something. What are you walking towards, Taurus? Because you know y'all dear devils. 
All right, so you have the Tower, you have the Lovers, and you have the Five of Cups. So I definitely feel like, um, <clears throat> oh, and you have the Page of Wands. Okay, so you're going to be walking towards something, okay? I feel like, um, so you had the Two of Wands, and then you got the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is all about a new idea, a new creative idea. Um, <clears throat> I feel like um, this, when you walk, you're walking towards, with the Eight of Cups, you're walking towards um, the two cups that you had left over with the Five of Cups. Because the Five of Cups is all about grief and feeling unloved and abandoned, right? So you're in this energy where you're walking away, even though you have your confidence. You really do want partnership, especially with number two being out here on your card. And so I feel like you walking towards this um, tower moment. Wow, you're walking to the tower. <laughs> And this is spirit-led. That's why I said under Pluto, you know, people think like when they see Scorpio card or death or rebirth, it's like you have no choice but to go towards this, all right? Even though you're confident enough, I think spirit built up your self-esteem enough to know that no matter what you're walking towards or what you're in, spirit divine, your ancestors, and your higher self are all cheering for you to go in the right direction. And by you walking towards this... um tower moment is definitely putting you in this you know um this new energy where you definitely will be meeting someone that you're going to start something with with the page of wands all right so congratulations on dropping five just to gain two okay all right so let's go ahead and clarify extra angels for their needs as the potential outcome which is a potential outcome card because it's telling you what you should do whenever you feel stuck. And that tower card is exactly what you, that's why you walk to it because you know you got help, okay? And I believe that's why you had to go through this process to realize not to depend on man, but to, to be, blah, 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 blah. I know we're still in Mercury retrograde and we're about to come out of it. And my language have gotten better, but it still, you know, hops up and down. So I feel like you realizing that you don't have to depend on man or people to get your goals met, to work on your abundance, to work on your life purpose, because um, you know that you always have help. And I believe that that's why you had to go through this transition with Pluto, because you needed to understand that, you know what, your help comes from unknown places hidden places as you can see when we was here with the hidden okay you have the hierophant right here saying i'm here to help fight these battles okay i'm going to make right wrong with judgment and justice and i told you whenever they show up in the deck any way they want you know there's going to be sudden changes and stuff being shook up and the tower came out and showed us that all right so let's see what the clarity is for x for your needs to be met by your spirit guides and your angels by divine oh why would you do it to me like that hold on see so the knight of cups all right i have the king of cup i mean i mean the king of swords so this offer that's coming in with this new partnership is definitely going to give you equal give and take with the six of pentacles so you're going to share um this new uh journey that you're going on especially with the tower and it's showing that um hold on y'all you're going to share this new journey that's coming in with the page of um the page of wands going on this new journey right standing in your fulfillment of loving yourself drinking from your own cup enjoying life and you're going to get a lot of clarity and understanding. Some of you are definitely going to be traveling. If you see this person sitting there in front of the king of swords waiting to go someplace, okay? And it's definitely going to take off where you're able to get the six of pentacles, which is all about equal give and take, okay? All right. Um being able to get this help that you was looking for because in the beginning you wasn't getting people that were being generous and helpful and understanding and compassionate and now you are and spirit came in and brought that into your life so that's the potential outcome 
Let me clarify the Six of Pentacles for you just to see if there's anything else Spirit wants to say when it comes to um, your potential outcome, Taurus. This is a really good reading. And I'm telling you, when you have loyalty and respect um, from friends, family, foes, um, it makes life so much better. And so it's your, it's your responsibility to check that at all times. Ain't nobody got time for nobody drilling no holes in a boat. You understand? It's like, this is all we got. What are you doing? So if you can't be here to help, then you get off the boat. And I feel like a lot of you kick people out the way, um, whether you did it or spirit did it, because you realized that they was hurting you. <clears throat> yeah, spirit said that's the truth. Page of Swords. Exactly. This new equal give and take is going to give you a lot of um, understanding. You're going to get a lot of enlightenment from seeing how that not everybody is like that. You pick and choose who is on your team. And I feel like that's what spirit is telling you to do. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some Oracle. Um, some oracle cards of abundance, please, that I made for myself, for you guys. Um, and let's see what Sarah has to say. All right. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Taurus. Definitely, you know, I'm hearing, what about your friends? Will they be around? Will they stand your ground? What about your friends? What about your friends by TLC? Yes. Oh, this is nice. Look, and you got a lucky break with Jupiter out here. Good fortune. Didn't I say? Y'all like my cards with the um with the four-leaf clover? Yeah, I know. I'm talented. <laughs> and then you have knowledge is key to wealth. See? And then we get that right here. You're learning that first you need to have a support team that's not going to fail you, that's going to be respectful, that's going to be loyal, that's going to be generous, okay? And they're coming in with positive vibes. If you're not feeling that from people, freak them. Freak them, okay? Let's get to um, one more or two more. Spirit, one more or two more. Oracle cards. I love this. All right? You have a lucky break, okay? Oh. It's nice when you have spirit on your side. Look, bankroll coming in for me. That's what y'all need to um, profess over your life every day. Bankroll coming in for me. Okay? See notes raining on my life. See notes raining on my life. See notes is raining on my life. Okay? So y'all definitely need to know that see notes are raining on your life. And you could see that. It's going to take time. It's going to build momentum. But first, you have to get your team right, Taurus. Okay? My income is rising at rapid rate. Didn't I say I can't make this shit up? I love it. And last but not least, I choose my hours. Time is on my side. Exactly. You choose what you do. Some of you could definitely be wanting to... Um, get into learning how to be a CEO or a boss. Some of you could have already been doing it, but you've been stagnated because you had the wrong people on your team. That's why that song came out. What about your friends? Will they stand your ground? Will they let you down? Yeah, yeah. What about your friends? What about your friends? Oh my God, y'all need to listen to that song. But I'm definitely going to put the link in the description box all right and y'all can definitely check out that song and listen to it okay that is your song of choice to get your vibrations up to get you thinking and realizing the clarity on having a good team in order to build your wealth okay and that's why that is here so i really like this reading congratulations to you on your new companionship and i wish you guys nothing but abundance light and love taurus Mwah. Bye.